On the right hand, Atomica, Kizuna, Kitai, Earth Grinder, episode 14. And I'll be starting my reaction to this in one, zero, go. Alright, can't wait to see what they're gonna do for this one. Huh. Okay. This could be a nice change of pace. Hopefully. At least when it comes to them fighting the cave. Hopefully it could be something hilarious. Hmm. <laughs> Did they have that barn or everything though? I mean, I guess they're picking up the habits from their dad though. Oh, that's why. Looks like Clutch Chamber and Oliver got caught with their hands in the cookie jar again. Yeah. They're essentially attached by the hip figuratively at this point. I like how you just prepared all of this. <laughs> She probably has a lot of time in her hands. Sure it is. Sure. Exactly! <laughs> I had a feeling it was going to be a hobby. Because it's way too detailed. Just to be for research purposes. But that's cute though. Okay, that's good. They're actually transforming from the get-go. Might as well be better playing it safe than sorry. And they actually skip most of the sequence of transformation. Thank you! Thank you! I don't know... Wait, is it going to be an opening? Dun, 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 dun. Oh no, it's the same opening. I mean, I'm pretty sure none of these animators directing writing stuff hear my reactions, but regardless, just thank you for skipping through that sequence. Now, we, now the only thing I can hope for now is for them to also skip through their through Leo and Eagle and Saber Panther transformation sequences. If we can just skip that and just get more fighting instead, uh, that would be gravy. That would be so, so gravy, and that would elevate this series into higher heights. And that would be freaking awesome, you know? Hopefully it's that, and now uh, our boys fight Kakadu. Kakadu's energy drains, and he has to run away. Because it's been like that for the last three to four episodes. Like, seriously. Here's how the episodes have divulged. You have Saber Panther complain and pounce about something, that he needs more energy. Oliver Clutch and Chamber do their thing. They do their reverse mambo dance. And then Kakadu drains energy and then it runs away. I hope, I hope it doesn't do that. I hope it actually does something different this time. Because it's getting a little bit formulaic. No, not a little. It's already pretty dang formulaic. What am I saying? I should wash my mouth with soap for saying that. Okay. Seeing cute little Raga and Kuba. Hey, this is nice. Hey, look at them like bosses. Most people, when they fall, at least in that age, they cry sometimes. It's actually pretty nice to see them get that pumped up excited. That's cute, actually. Oh. I'm assuming they're probably going to save the boy that we saw in the PV and also the slight flash forward in the episode. <laughs> yes, he did. Trying to look all tough.
Kenta, that's a cool name. Hmm. Kind of just, oh, uh, I'll say, I guess I can't see why they can't give their normal names. It'd be pretty dangerous if they did. <laughs> animation is good, though, like, the boy actually doing the XI animation. Usually in a typical Tsumi Kagrana episode, it usually would be done in stills or something. Which they better start animating more frames with the amount of times they recycle in the series. It's only fair he doesn't know the ins and outs of the cave. I might as well do what the boy says. <laughs> I like how the narrative is being sarcastic. I actually like that. Instead of now, because that's a nice improvement. When the start of the series, the narrative was just there just to give obvious information. Now the narrative is here just to give sarcastic jokes. I actually like this. That's actually one of the series where it has a bad start, but then progressively it gets a bit better. You can tell the writers are starting to find their rhythm, their voice. And you can tell they're tr at least some of them are trying. Hmm. I've actually been curious to know the... Uh, I want to learn the serpent knows regarding Rin's mother. She seems like a sweet woman, if you ask me. Why would they mention that? Okay. <laughs> I like the music playing in the background though. Dun, 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 dun. Mm. He's gonna fall? I mean, you can see why I can't say this pretty young. <laughs> what is that blush though? All the Kawi blush. The rope. Okay, it was funny, Amy, the first few times he fell, but come on now. Really? How can you slip on a, oh, on a vinyl sheet if it's blue? I understand maybe the rope, but that sheet, come on now. Yeah, that's the biggest question. Why would he fall for his own traps? Hmm. Narrator's gonna point. Mm -hmm. You would probably need armed security guards to properly guard a, nas a national resort. Some armed guards, you know? They pass, especially if you're protecting something pretty. Damn, this guy looks decked the hell out. Yo. Oh, okay, that's sweet. Unless I get some of his backs over there. Hmm. <clears throat> you know, if it actually ends up with one of them actually catching. Chamber of one of her two allies, yo, that would actually make for some plot progression there. I mean, that could also... Oh, come on now. There's only so many times you can use the same gag before it loses its effect. Come on now. Yo, this kid is tough. With all those falls, jeez, you would think you'd at the very least have some bruises or a scrape or something. Hopefully he stops tripping on stuff. I'm across my fingers because honestly this episode 
has been pretty weak so far. But the only fun sequence being when Ren had like the little toys. And maybe the first time Kenta tripped and the little sequence with the boys uh, being young in that little flashback. Those are like the only three good snippets and they're only snippets. They ain't even full on scenes. Okay, maybe Tenta's trippiness was like the only good scene, but on that. Oh. Oh. Hmm. That looks more like a flag of surrender, though. <laughs> yeah, at the very least, they heard part of it, though. At least now they know there's dark energy that can keep the guard up. This is how it spent its first 11 minutes. And they're even dragging the reverse of the reverse. Oh, come on, really? I'm also tired of watching them dance. Okay, finally, maybe something interesting can happen. I mean, Chamber's idea was, is good, don't get me wrong, in theory it's good. <laughs> they really need to go after that kid. At least there you do see their overconfidence. Yeah, at least they're more casual with talking with Kakadu now, at the very least. So I do like that. Oh, I wouldn't mind seeing an episode of just, um, Kakadu and that's one of the Kenta's traps. Animations that are trash. Indiana Jones reference. Okay, yeah, those are definitely, yeah, those look pro level. Those are definitely gonna be Kakadu's traps. Now he knows. But honestly, the animation for the spikes kind of sucked, but the bullet animation looked pretty decent. So there were some decent moments here visually. Or when they were running through like the tree trunks, the traps. <laughs> I like how he calls them uninvited guests and doesn't even call them by their names. Yeah, I mean, shit. Definitely can't be taking any risks there. Okay. They kind of opened themselves to a plot hole here in this episode, and I gotta call it out. Kakut is literally right there. He could literally transform with the Saber Panther and literally just kill Raiga and Kuga. Is he gonna actually wait for their eagle and Leo to show up? And he's gonna allow him to transform. He can win! He can literally win and achieve Saber Panther's goals. Just transform! The last part in Cuba. I, not that I want to see our main characters die, but from a plot standpoint, come on now. This is this is literally bad writing. <clears throat> like it literally lo looks like they're waiting so that Araka and Kuga can just summon their 
And they're granners, and that's about it. This dude should have been doing that where... Why didn't he just go on full transforming mode? He could have just done that. I mean, I guess... Trying to run them over with the car is better than nothing. Wow. That... <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. They literally waited for Eagle and Lil to show up. Shut the fuck up, Rally Riders. Really? <sighs> Great. Now I'm going to watch this transformation I've seen multiple times in all the other episodes. You've got to be joking. This has got to be some kind of prank. Joke. Honestly, wh why the f why do I still have hope for the series? Why? Like, why? Episodes like this, yes, I know this series has good episodes, but dang! Some, the, ba the bad episodes are starting, we're starting to get more bad, bad episodes piled up versus good ones. Literally, this is, they're like spending two minutes on this. Why is Kakuto not attacking them while they're transforming? And it was established in one of the episodes in canon that you can attack the boys while they're transforming. Okay. Even if y'all are going to use the excuse that Kakuto was transforming while the boys were transforming, what stopped Oliver Clutch and Chamber from blasting Lail and Eagle preventing them from further transforming. There's no excuse. This type of bad writing is inexcusable. This, this episode's awful. I'd say this is one of the worst episodes of the series. And that's saying a lot because this series has had some... It has had good episodes, but it's had some pretty bad episodes to mix it in. Uh, that's like three episodes of stock footage. No, it's still going. How in the... And then he's gonna drain out of energy, and then he's gonna run away. Like all the other episodes. I mean... Is there anything else that's gonna happen that's different from what happened before? Oh, great. We, have, we also get to see this. Do they really have, why can't we just have him, just them activate the Turok and that's about it? Do we have to drag it out? Okay, animation here actually looks decent. Hmm. At the very least. So is the boy going to try doing the reverse and dance? Is that what he's going to do to try to get the earth energy back? Hold! Oh. Okay, I actually don't mind Kensa. If Kensa is the reason why they want to save the day. Oh, uh, that would be cool. Honestly, if these three fail to stop Kenta, I'm honestly going to start questioning the competency of the villains in this series. They have laser beams. They can literally use those. They literally have laser beams. They utilized that when they were facing Raiga and Kuga earlier in the series. They utilized that shit in the opening. How are they not using their Laser beams! Just go pew 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 and you're done! That's it! It's not like Kenta looks like the most looks like an Olympic runner where he can just dodge the thing. How? How? Why? 
Oh. Oh. Okay, that looks pretty pro Holy cow, that looks pretty promising there. I'm going out for blood this time. Uh, he should probably... Oh. Okay, Kakudu's pretty savage. I ain't gonna lie. That's like the only part... That's like the only thing that'll prevent this from being a 2 out of 10 caliber episode or a 1 out of 10. For that, I'll get at This is episode I'll at least get a 3 out of 10, right? We have advanced space technology. How in the hell can a flashlight do that? Are you joking? Don't get me wrong. I, I mean, I like how Kenta actually actually resolved the situation. But at the same time, really? You can't. I mean, I guess since that is low, they would need Eagle for that, but he was knocked out. Did they at least capture the three? Ah, uh, please tell us they captured the three! I mean, yeah, I mean, Kansa was actually pretty cool, I ain't gonna lie. That's like the only- but that doesn't redeem the episode though! One or two cool moments doesn't redeem this shit show of an episode. But I'll give a thumbs up to Kenza. He deserves it! That's the only thing- that's like one of the few things though. Man. And yeah, this episode ended the way I told you it would. Kakura was gonna just fucking run away because the dark energy ran out. Fuck! This episode sucked! It sucked balls! I'm gonna rate this one straight up. Okay, okay. I, I, uh, this is the worst episode of the series. I'm gonna rate this one straight up a 3.5 out of 10. It was abysmal! What the hell? All right, let me start out by mentioning why it sucked. For one, really now you've dragged out the transformations again, even the remote reverse mumbo stuff, and that's not even the biggest offender. The biggest offender was how dumb Clutch, Ollie, and Chipper were made. Come on now, they're trying to tell us that these three. Couldn't utilize their laser beam that they were utilizing just not too, not too long ago. That's bullshit. They were utilizing laser beams. How in the hell were they not using against Kenta? Come on now. And I don't want to hear the excuse of oh this is a this isn't a kid slot because I've seen series in kid slot like Healing Good Peak here and Miracle Dreamy have better writing consistency than this that don't disrespect its viewers. So I don't want to hear that. This series had no excuses. And not just that. Oh, I'm gonna I'm just see this preview. Oh, the grandfather. I actually wouldn't mind an episode with him more. Actively involved. And it's gonna be the same thing. Is Kakuda gonna be just like deuces? Okay, that looks like fun. Okay, this looks good. Okay, okay, I ain't gonna lie. I'm actually excited for this. Okay, next episode looks good. Okay. Yeah, this series. <laughs> wow. It is one of the Fianimus where it's like, one of us can be a complete sack of shit, then the next one can be good. This, this is, uh, if there's anything this series is the master of, it's the master of being completely inconsistent. But honestly, I'd be lying. The next episode actually looks good. 
I actually want to see more of the gra- of the grandfather because they kind of just showed him casually in one of the episodes. If he actually has a bigger role, fuck yeah. I'm, you know what? This episode may have sucked balls, but damn, I'm hyped for the next one. Okay, let me get back on to just getting my figurative acts and acts in this episode though and turning a new one before I before I lose my kind of thought. They made the three chamber and her friends dumbass hell. And how in the hell were they not attacking the boys? Because just a few episodes ago when they were drilling, you had literally Chamber come up with the plan of stopping Raga and Kuga from from transforming. How in the hell do they not apply the same principle? Do the writers even look at the scripts of the previous episodes? I am a reactor. I react to this anime for fun. And I noticed this. How does a paid writer not notice this? How? How? But anyways, writing was terrible. Aside from Kensa being the slight character, from a character standpoint, it was terrible. Same old, same old, same shit with Kaku running away when the energy drains. Animation was shit for most of it, except for the fight. I'll give it credit. Kaku the Rizzo the Boys was good, but it was too short. It can't redeem this episode. This episode's writing was so bad, and that's why I feel it's a 3.5 out of 10. But yeah, I mean, I'll, I'll, I'll come back and react to the next episode. I mean, I'm not going to drop it because I'm way too deep into this to drop the show, but... And honestly, I'd be lying the P if I said the PV that looks like crap because it actually looks good. But yeah, these are my thoughts. I hope the next one does better. I hope. I hope they live up to the expectations because I've been wanting to see more of the grandfather and they fucked this up. Oh man, you're going to see a reaction where I'm so pissed they fucked the next episode. But anyways, yeah. these are my thoughts on the episode. I thought it was trash. Be sure to comment your thoughts on how I feel about my reaction.